Hey, it's Mark. Good morning. I was reading an article in today's uh, Wall Street Journal about a uh, company that's in the, the gym business that is expanding beyond the gym business into, yep, you got it, healthcare. It's just another one of these ventures. You know, there is a huge crossover between lifestyle and healthcare, between beauty and healthcare. Uh, it's the same trend uh, expanded from what may have begun uh, in the realm of the uh, the Medi Spa, uh, which was not particularly the invention of physicians, uh, say plastic surgeons, dermatologists expanding into a wider range of beauty, but was really unlicensed folks, often by making initially uh, compliance mistakes, licensing mistakes, corporate practice of medicine mistakes in many cases, uh, when they expanded into what was really medical practice. But one of the, of the beauties about starting from the perspective of a physician or a medical group is that the, the ability to expand beyond a traditional medical practice into a lifestyle practice is far more open to you uh, because of your license. So what I want you to think about is that this, this field is going to exist. It's going to expand, whether it's um, an area that's controlled by uh, gym owners, as in the case of the guy in the Wall Street Journal, um, estheticians, um, people who own nail salons, and you think I'm kidding, I'm not, uh, or it's going to be led by physicians. You know, physicians gave up on a large part of control of medicine that led to a hospital-centric system. Now, with technology mooting many of the reasons for a hospital, the, the theme of impending death of hospitals, my book by the same name, uh, or simply now the, the case of expanding outside of medical practice into broader health, where you hook up with uh, professionals from many disciplines, some which traditionally have nothing or very little to do with healthcare. So there's a world of opportunity if you're willing to think uh, beyond the simple bounds of what medical practice is.